Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, everyone. Bear with me one moment, as always. I have to pull up the live video. Oops, and you'll be able to hear an echo. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Just going to wait a moment for everyone to join in. Let me clean up my madness here. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear friends. Happy Monday. <clears throat> Happy Monday, everyone. Hi, Penny. Hi, Adam. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Gyps. Hi, Gail. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Pamela. Hello, everyone. Hello, Robin. Hello, all of my dear friends. Whoops. Oh, no. What did I do? Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Patty. Hi, Michelle. Look at this crazy desk. I mean, I know. Got a lot going on. Got my lighter because I just lit my candle. Hi. Hello, everyone. All right. So I'm a little bit early, I know. But hi, Esther. I love your YouTube channel, Esther. I haven't watched it in quite some time, so I don't know if you still keep up with everything. But I used to love watching your... Um, your grocery hauls. Esther, is that is that you that did the grocery hauls? Hi, Heidi. I know I'm always in trouble. You got your neons today, good. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Okay, so um, first things first, we have had a lot of questions a ton of questions, and I, you guys know me, I love questions. I love answering questions, I love helping. It's one of my favorite things to do. But one of the number one questions that we have been getting at Brutus and Row headquarters is, what do the neon aqua pigments look like when they are completely dry and they are not under the disco light? That's our number one question. So what I did was I, now I'm gonna show you under the disco light too, because I know you guys like the disco light, but. What I did was I did some swatches for you guys because I truly believe that you really need to see what these look like under just regular lighting. Um, and the only way for me to do that is to show you a full force uh, swatch. So this is what they look like when they are just straight up right out of the right out of the thing. Okay, this is just painting them on. So you can see how incredibly vivid and how bright. They're almost so bright that my camera is like, Christopher, what are you doing to me? <laughs> what, what is going on with those colors? So this is what they look like when they are just straight out of the bottle. Okay, so that's what you're going to see if you were to just use the neon aqua pigments right out of the right out of the gamut. And again, we've had a lot of questions about that because so many folks say, you know, I don't have a disco light. Now, obviously there's a quite a few people that have emailed us saying, I'm going to buy my disco light this weekend. But it is incredible how bright, how they're just, it's crazy how bright they are. So let me show you what they look like with the disco light on. So let me, actually, I'm going to warm up the disco light because as most of you might know or might not know, a black light takes a little bit to warm up to its full intensity. So I'm going to give that a couple of seconds. And just as a heads up, Michael um, texted me to remind you, um, tomorrow is the last day for the Create Your Own Ending event at the price that it is at currently. We have two spots left. That is it. If you're even considering it, please take a look. Uh, we would love to have you. We would love to see you. Um, you know, this event is our inaugural uh, Create Your Own event. We would love to be able to hang out with you. So, you know, it's completely, completely... Oh, that'll work. Yep, it'll work, Heidi. Uh, we would love to see you. But if you can't make it, we completely understand. I just wanted to put that out there that tomorrow, today and tomorrow is the last day. That's it. Finito. Adios. Okay, 
<clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look with the disco light. So this is what it looks like when you have the UV light or the black light on. Now, there is a light from across the room that is on, so you can kind of still uh, see some light coming into the room, but you can see how incredibly bright and how incredibly vivid those colors are. It is just absolutely incredible. It's, um, yes, they do, uh, they do, Pamela, but I can promise you in real life, they are not. Um, and I'm going to try to bring it up so hopefully you can see the line in between the two of them. They are very different in real life. Very different. Okay. Just go lights off. <laughs> oh, yes, we will meet at MetaCon, Esther. Absolutely. All right. So that is that. Now, <clears throat> you guys probably saw the title of this video. And you probably thought to yourself, well, what are you talking about making custom embossing powders? What the heck is that? What is a what is a custom embossing powder? How are we going to do that? So you guys have sent emails over emails over emails and signed up for the out of stock notifier. And I mean, everything, you know, less than coming to our offices and saying, Christopher, where is it? Hi, Lori. So we have decided to bring back the at-home embossing bar kit. Now, you guys might be asking, and I will tell you, what is the embossing bar? What is the at-home kit? What does that mean? So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what that is, is at the Brutus Renault Studio Store, we have something called the embossing bar. It's very similar to a salad bar. You go around, you grab yourself a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of a little bit of sprinkle of this, sprinkle of that. We t you take it up to the cash register, we weigh it on a, we weigh it on a deli scale, and then you're able to go ahead and purchase your custom embossing powders. This custom embossing powder kit has been so incredibly popular that we sold through our first three batches of these in a week. So we couldn't keep up, and I said, okay, let's pull it from the website, and let's regroup. Let's figure out if there's something we can do to make it better. Let's figure out how we can make more. So we've added just something very, very small and minimal to make it a little bit better, it's something that I think the kit always needed, um, but something that we couldn't find that we could give you at an affordable price and not raise the price of the box. So do you guys want to see what this kit looks like? I mean, there's some of you that probably already have this kit, but I'm really excited to talk about it again because I love... Oh, and I almost forgot. <clears throat> I have to grab my empty cards. One moment. Un momento, por favores. Okay. And I have my recipe cards that you get for free if you have the box. Um, well, if you turn off the lights, Heidi, it'll glow. <laughs> um, the white and clear, the way you can tell the difference between the white and the clear is the white is super, super, super white. And the clear almost has like a almost like a light, light, light yellowish tint to it. Um, I just started, Ivy. Just started, so you got here at just the right time. Um, and the glow in the dark is going to have a slight green tinge to it. And I can show you that. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box. And you'll notice that there is something new inside of this box, which I'm really excited about. So first and foremost, <clears throat> as soon as you open up your box, you are going to note that all of the colors are listed up here. And this is something new that we're doing with this, which is um, kind of what Heidi was just mentioning. In your box, it now shows you where glow in the dark is, where clear is, and where the white is, okay? So something new that comes in your embossing bar kit, which I'm so excited about, are these absolutely splendid, absolutely perfect little silver spoons. I mean, these could not be more perfect for you to mix up your own custom embossing powders. The silver spoons will only come with the embossing bar. Don't worry, we will have different spoons in the future for your embossing powders. But we thought because of the limited edition kit, the silver spoons would be perfect. And you receive six of these little spoons in your box. And I love it. I think it's so great. So let's go ahead and pull out all of the contents. So it comes with this nifty little holder here. So it's gonna hold everything in place for you. 
and you're going to get two mixing jars. Now, you do not have to utilize your mixing jars uh, just for this. The mixing jars are going to hold a full one ounce. These are our regular, whoopsies, our regular one ounce mixing jars. You do not have to utilize them that way, okay? You don't have to. So, um, look. Those look like good nose hanging spoons. They are. They're like the perfect little spoons. I love these. I love them. All right. So these are our standard jars that we have and we use every single day for our embossing powders. And then you are going to receive 11 colors. Okay. So you'll get 11 colors in your box. So let's pull these out. They have their own special little holder. And then when you get your embossing powder kit, you can download the recipe cards. These did not all print correctly. I don't know why, but this one, these ones did. So when you print them out, you see these little hash marks here. That's how you cut them out, okay? So you'll cut these out and they fit as a perfect index card size. But there are many different recipes that we give you right off of the bat, okay? So you, of course, can create your own ending. We always want you to create your own ending. But the great thing about this kit is that you can actually use your recipes, okay? And I think that that's super fun because we've done a lot of the hard work for you of actually creating recipes for you. And we're going to actually try out some of these recipes tonight. So first we have Valentine. We have Easter Egg. Trick or Treat, which is one that we're making tonight because it's one of my favorites. So we'll put that to the side. Galaxy, another one we're going to make tonight. Holiday Dream, Shamrock, and all of these have been tested and they work really, really well. Confetti, Independence Day, a little glow in the dark can be added to this one for fireworks, love that. Sunset, and again, all of these are free. When you get your box, you just download them. Pittsburgh Pride, which makes sense because, you know, we are in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and then last but not least, Unicorn Sneeze, which is another one of my favorites. So we are going to use that one as well. <clears throat> okay. I know, Esther, I feel the same way about, uh, about a lot of products. <laughs> That's for certain. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to grab my recipe cards. Also, just as a heads up, anyone that took the Marker 101 class, thank you all so much for joining me in the Marker 101 class. I appreciate each and every one of you for taking that class. As a heads up, I wanted you guys to know that the Marker 102 class has just been posted. So in the event that you are interested in the Marker 102 class, Go grab it. There are only 30 spots available because we don't want the class to become oversaturated and um, <clears throat> I won't be able to answer all the questions. So if you click the link below, thank you so much, Mimi. Uh, if you click the link down below uh, my picture at the bottom of your YouTube, uh, you will be able to go and grab that class. Hello, Chuck. Everybody say hello to the incredible and incomparable Chuck Carson, who is the animated pencil who illustrates um, about 90% of the amazing stamps that you guys all know and love, my dear, dear friend. Um, so uh, in the second class, we are going to get into much more detail. So the way that the detail will work is we're going to talk much, 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 much more about facial structure. We're going to talk about blending on faces. We are going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about the hair. We're going to do much, much more detail with the hair and, uh, oh good. Perfect, Heidi. And we are also going to talk about texture. So we're going to talk about clothing texture. We're going to talk about denim. We're going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about wool. We're going to talk about lots of different things. That booklet is actually 18 pages long as opposed to the 12 that the first one was. So I can promise you that the second class is worth every single penny. And because there are only 30 people being admitted into the class, you'll be able to ask a gajillion questions. I mean, literally, you can ask as many questions as you want. It's going to be much, much more one-on-one, -on -one, if that makes sense. Um, the book is being emailed. Yes, Heidi. Yep. 
Um, that class is set to be not next week, but the following week, because I will be in New York City, so it's set for the following week. Well, Esther, you have to take my class then, and I'll be more than happy to teach you how to do it. <laughs> I'd love to teach you how to do it. Okay, so let's get to making our recipes. So what we're going to do is, oh, good B, I can't wait to see you in class. I get so excited about these classes, you guys, and you know that if you guys have ever taken a class with me before, you know how excited I get about that. Um, yes, flowers, Heidi, and um, flowers as well as nature is kind of what we touch on lightly in this 102. So basically the 102, um, Melinda, we're working on it. We're hoping that they will. We're, we're working on it. Yep. Hopefully they should be here next week. Um, Heidi, we're touching on flowers and nature in this class. 103 is what is, it's all about flowers, all about, um, like grass, all about bark. Um, we talk about wood grain and stuff like that in 103. We do touch on flowers though. We do. All right, so we're going to take the pink. We're going to take pink. We're going to take glow in the dark. Do you see how the glow in the dark, Heidi, has kind of a little bit of a uh, greenish tinge to it? We're going to take purple. We're going to take white. And we are going to take black. Oh, you didn't get it yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, animal fur is 104, is when we start talking about animals. We do all, the animals, pretty much 104 is all about fur and animals. And we also touch on in 102, if you guys have ever wanted to learn how to do eyes, um, like eyes are a really, really big one people want to learn. Eyes are in 102, um, 102 as well. All right, so according to our recipe, let's go ahead and grab our recipe card. We're going to take one part pink, and I can't wait. I'm so excited about using these little spoons. So one part pink. Oh, I love this. This is just, so, I feel like I'm doing chemistry. Awesome, Gail. I feel like I'm doing chemistry. Like, I feel like I'm doing some sort of, like, weird chemistry experiments. Uh, then we're going to take one part white. Whoops, I didn't grab white. I grabbed clear by accident. I even have the cheat sheet in front of me. Um, no, Heidi, the foiling class is Wednesday. You will get an email about that tomorrow. And if you don't get your email by, uh, I'd say like 5 o'clock tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, reach out to Heather. And I think we have four spots left for the foiling class. So if you would sign up for the foiling class, obviously you would get your stuff um, in the mail later. But the foiling class is obviously, as you guys know, it's, pre it's recorded. So you can watch it later. Okay, one part purple. If I said it was tonight, Heidi, I apologize. I was... I had my schedule mixed up, which unfortunately happens very easily these days. Oh, Jerry, that foiling class. I have lots of surprises for you in that foiling class. <laughs> oh, I had to take I had to take off the shiny nails. <laughs> but my sister has shiny toes right now. Is she here tonight? I don't think she's here yet. Believe me, she would have made an announcement. She would have she would have come down from the ceiling and there would have been confetti cannons if she was here. Um, she, um, did her toes on Saturday. Hello, Dee Dee. All right. And then we need two parts black. Minnie was good today. I was going to be at 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. Okay. And then two parts black. I feel like I'm making like a spice rub or something. <laughs> Oh, no, Heidi. That's okay. You can watch it later. That's what's so great about it. All right, and then you're going to put your cap on, and you're going to mix, 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 mix. And then we are going to get our galaxy. You, are you going to stand me up for our date then, Heidi? Look at her. She just stood me. She's going to stand me right up. And look at how cool that is. 
tell me that's not a galaxy if you've ever seen one. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so, so cool. All right, so let's go ahead and let us do... Da, 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 da. Let's swatch it out, shall we? I love it. Uh, this box is $49.99. And you get the spoons, you get the mixing jars, and you get um, 11 uh, embossing powders to try out. So really, if you've never tried our embossing powders, this is by far the absolute best way to try them. Because you are getting, you know, I mean, you're getting all of them. Pretty much every, well, you're getting all of the basic embossing powders, if that makes sense. Oh, look at, look at Gyps. Thank you, Gyps. <laughs> Heidi, did you see Gyps? Snuck right up on you. She said she would never stand me up. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I love you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and, yeah, it goes a very long way. All right, so let's go ahead and just make sure that this is completely covered. And let's go ahead and heat that up so you can see what it's going to look like. Let me grab the devil's gun. And I mean, look how much is still left in there. That's, I mean, I'd say that's quite a bit of embossing powder, if you ask me. All right. So let's go ahead and heat up the devil's gun. Oh, sorry, witness protection, yes. I can't say Jip, sorry. She's in witness protection, I forgot. She's using her other name. I completely forgot. Oh, that's really fun, Heidi. I've always wanted to go to Italy. Tuscany, actually. Um, Connie, we are working on the eggplant coming back in stock. I don't know if Michael is still here. If Michael is still here, uh, we will make sure we put an, an order in for eggplant. I did not realize it was out of stock. Oh, and did you guys also see that we have these in stock now? My goodness, I'm going to forget everything that I was supposed to tell you guys. We have these in stock now. Hi, Diane. The cut lines are in stock. I'm so excited. I don't know how long they're going to be in stock, but they are in stock. And remember, you get two of them. I'm going to demo these later this week, so make sure to grab yourself a set if you really want a set because they are in stock now, and I'm so excited about that. And all of the Misties are back in stock, too. All the Misties are back in stock. So if you've been waiting on one, grab it. All right, so let's hold this up real quick to the light. We'll turn off the other light so I can show you the glow in the dark. I don't know how well it's going to glow in the dark because my, you'll, my computer screen will still be on. But let's take a look. Ooh-wee. All right, hold on. Let me close the door. Stop everything. Stop everything, because that was good. Hold on. I kept the door open because little Benson has been very attached to me lately. And I didn't want him to think I, I, um, <laughs> I didn't want, uh, didn't want him to think that I was abandoning him. He didn't care as much about me going live whenever Minnie wasn't here. All right, one, two, three, go. Oh, wow. Look at that galaxy. <whistles> now, again, since the light of my computer is on. Oh, wow. That's really cool. That's really something. Okay, so that one is galaxy. Okay, now let's do my favorite. Which is, I don't know, there was a couple of you guys I know that were waiting on the Misties, and they're now back. I think we're going to do just one more, um, because I only have one more mixing jar. And I forgot to bring other mixing jars home to switch them out. But the mixing jars, you can get mixing jars on our website too. I think they're linked below. Alright, so let's make sure I put these back where they belong. Or wait, I need glow in the dark, so we'll leave that out. I need purple... 
I need black, and I need orange. Oops, let me, hold on. Let me make sure I put these back in here in order. I'm looking at my, looking at my cheat sheet over across the way. And again, these are a, these are a limited release. So once they're gone again, they're gone again. We only bring them back for a short period of time. Because to tell you the truth, they're kind of a pain in the tuchus to make. Because <laughs> these are all handmade. Every box. All right, so let's take... Let me grab a different spoon, because you get six of them, so why not? Uh, can you see what close-up? Oh, the, the... The galaxy? Absolutely. Hopefully it'll focus. Isn't that cool? Very, very galaxy. All right, so let's take one part orange. This mixing, this never gets old to me. It really doesn't. Oh, good, Heidi. You got your Misty? Good, good, good. One part glow in the dark. I love mixing these. I don't know what's so why it's so fun to mix these. I'm probably a big old dork, but there's just something about mixing these that I just love. Whoopsies. Party foul. A little bit more. Okay. All right. And then... And, of course, your parts can be whatever you want. I'm using quite a liberal amount for my parts, but you don't have to use as much as I'm using. You can use, you know, just the end of the end of your little spoon yeah well the cool thing is is you can really um uh oh esther you need to start using that misty start using that misty all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at our halloween oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire Look at how Halloween-y. And what you can always do is like, for instance, I think I need one a little bit more orange. I don't think I took a big enough part. I can dump some more orange in. You just can't take out. You can put as much as you want in, but you can't take it out. Now I'll mix that up. And again, this is your own concoction. Create your own ending. Oh yes, I love that now. And there's what it looks like now. I love that. <laughs> did you say more orange, Esther? I did hear you. I did. All right, let's grab another piece of black. Put down the Brutus and Rowan embossing pad. All right. Let's grab our little siphoning. Oh, I already love it. I do. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But again, if you want to put more purple in your mix, you can. If you want more black in your mix, you can. It's completely up to you. Now, obviously, it's going to look a little bit overwhelming when it is on a full square like this. But if you were to do like a Happy Halloween sentiment or if you were to do some fall leaves or something like that, it's going to look much different. It's going to look much different than it does like on a giant square like this. Oh my goodness, we, looks like we only have a couple of spots left for that. Uh, woo! A couple of spots left for that marker class. Thank you, everybody. I can't wait to hang out with you. have a lot of fun in that class got lots to talk about all right me too esther wait until you see the stuff that we have 
Wait until you see the stuff that we have for Halloween this year at Brutus Monroe. I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait for you to see. Oh, hold on. I have to plug my phone in. It's starting to get a little... Starting to go... Starting to die. Ah, you'll want them later. Wait until you see me use them, Heidi. When you see what those pink rulers can do, you're really going to want them. I promise you that. Because those, those pink rulers have a secret. They have a, a fun little secret of what something that they can do that's really, really cool. And I'm going to... Uh, well, yeah, we'll do a sneak peek probably in August is when the sneak peek will happen. And I don't know if Chuck is still here, but Halloween, I believe, is one of Chuck's favorite holidays, too. And he'll be illustrating all the Halloween stamp sets. So I'm pretty sure he's going to have a real good treat for you guys in store as well. <laughs> um, and I'm really, really excited about, uh, well... We have a lot of things coming. Can't tell you anything more, but we have a lot of things coming. And I'm just going to do a quick swatch of, because I don't have a full swatch yet of the neon aqua pigments. So I'm going to do a full, I don't have a full swatch of them on uh, black paper. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to swatch these out on the black paper real quick. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but I just want to get, get a good swatch on the black paper. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm not sure if Chuck is still here. Oh, Chuck is here. Yes, he said, oh, yes. Did you guys remember how much you guys loved the pumpkin stamp set last year and the scarecrow stamp set last year? That was Chuck's brainchild. I just, I always say that Chuck is the pencil to my brain because I always, always, always come up with these crazy ideas and somehow he just nails it. He nails it every time. Yeah, because I want to show you guys what these look like once they're dry. Maybe I'll show you this tomorrow. Because they show off really, really well on the black. Whoopsies. Oh my goodness, we almost had an embossing powder malfunction. We almost had a full embossing powder malfunction. Hi, Rye. Oh, Chuck said he's still here. Good. All right. Chuck, I have to get you some of these watercolors. I don't know if you, Chuck, do you do any watercoloring? Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just got done talking about the um, the embossing powder box. You guys will have to will have to watch back. I think there's only like ten of them available right now, as it stands. They um, we're bringing it back for a limited time only. Well, until they're gone, <laughs> pretty much. Oh, re. I don't know why I always want to call you Rye. I think it's it's that American thing or the R I. Re. Um, yep, it's the embossing bar box. Um, because of popular demand and lots and lots and lots of emails, <laughs> we're bringing it back uh, while it's still. Uh, but now it comes with these little spoons. So you can mix all of your goodies. Comes with little spoons now. Just a little tiny upgrade, that's all. But don't worry, anyone that got it that didn't have the spoons, we have little spoons coming. They just won't be, um... Oh, recreates. Now I get it. Now I'll never forget. You heard it here first. I'll never forget now. I won't. Now that you explain it to me that way. I will never forget again. Yes, and you get a you get a Betty Crocker. Well, I can't say Betty Crocker. I'll get sued. You get a Reddy Bocker, um, 
recipe book with it. <laughs> just like just like the um just like that Rizix machine. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these with the disco light on now. Ooh, every time. It gets me every time. They're just so gorgeous. Oh, I love them. I mean, what is there not to love about these? Oh, wait, look what I just noticed. <gasps> Hold on. Look at the glow in the dark in there. O-M-G. <gasps> oh, that's a great idea, D. <gasps> Be still my beating heart. I did not realize the glow in the dark was going to do that. I mean, I guess I should have, right? Oh my word, look at how the glow in the dark is making everything glow. <sighs> and it's like almost shifting. Okay. Now I'm going to have to do everything with this. Look at the galaxy. Oh wow. I had no idea that was going to happen. I mean, I'm happy it did, but I had no idea that that was not planned. I'm going to I'm going to tell you it was. I'm going to tell you that was planned. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, oh, absolutely, all along. It was going to happen all along. But yeah, look at the glow in the dark. Oh, my word. I bet that'll charge it up real good. Huh. Oh, yeah, it sure did. <whistles> look at that glow in the dark. That is incredible. That is really incredible. That's, I mean, that's just incredible to me. You know me, I love myself the, because here's the embossing powders. The embossing powders just recently came out and you guys have been scooping them up like crazy. I mean, I was hoping you guys would save some for me. Don't worry, I already got myself a full vat <laughs> of each one. I already took my full vat of them because I knew that they were going to be like, Flying out the windows. <laughs> flying out the window. All right. So that's about all that I have. For, oh, I almost just turned off the disco light and didn't turn on the regular light. So just as a heads up, um, they only come in a set currently, Pamela. Probably in about two months, we will do them separately. But it's just much easier for us to ship them as a set. Um, the blue is brighter. It's just not as bright in real life. Because um, I'll show you. I didn't know that either. Um, where did my little cheat sheet go? Oh no, I don't think I have, I don't know where my little cheat sheet went, but if you go back, uh, in this video, you'll be able to see the swatches. Oh wait, here it is. This is what the blue looks like when it's swatched out, when it's dry. See how much brighter that is? It's very bright. Okay, so just as a heads up to everyone that's now joining us, if you took the Markers 101 class and you are interested in the uh, one... Uh, oh, I have a If you don't have a... Um, Mimi, if you just wait until um, Wednesday, I will have a something for you at a phenomenal price. So just hang tight, my friend. <laughs> I have something that I think is going to be really, really cool and really exciting for all of you, but it's not coming until Wednesday. Um, it's going to be here with our um, with some of our May release items. So just as a heads up, if you guys are interested in the Markers 103 class, so the Markers 1 or 103, my goodness, we're jumping ahead. The Markers 102 class. If you love the Markers 101 class, like I hope you did and you had a great time with me, um, I want you to, um, uh, oh no, but wait until you see the embossing powder of the month, Linda. <whistles> this next one, I can tell you it's called Lemon Icing. I will start showing the subscription products this week. I, you know, I don't normally show. I probably, I don't think we're showing until the 13th is when I'm showing the inspiration box. But pretty much everything else will be starting this week. I like to try to space it out. 
but I don't normally show the inspiration box until the inspiration box is ready to go, if that makes sense. Like it starts shipping, because it always starts shipping on the 15th of the month. Yes, lemon icing is the embossing powder of the month, and it is delicious. I just got a chance to play around with it yesterday. Um, so if you loved the emboss or the marker 101 class, the marker 102 class just went up. We only have 30 spots available. Um, I spy a stamp from the March box. Uh-oh. On the left. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Um, I was just using it yesterday. So if you are interested in the 102 class, we only have 30 spots left. As of right this second as I'm speaking, This that may not be true in the future, but as I'm speaking right this moment at 11.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on April 29th, 2019, there are, it looks like, nine spots left. So if you're interested in that... Um, Oh my goodness. Well, I think you'll be very excited to see uh, what we have up our sleeves. Brina, you'll be excited to see what we have up our sleeves. So again, just as a heads up, we only have nine. Oh, nope. I lied. Eight spots now left for the Marker 102 class. We are going to cover a lot of stuff. I'm going to show you guys the booklet this week. Um, but I don't, uh, I'm not going to show it to you guys yet because it's just too much information. Grab your seat for that class. I cannot wait to see all of you guys in that class. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow because I have lots of fun things to, uh, um, I'm so honest, spending free. So baby, the just future future do the more. Uh, we will. We're actually, um, there was a lot of folks that asked for the aqua pigment class again. So, uh, I'm glad you caught me live too, Esther. Uh, so the aqua pigment class we will be doing again. There was a lot of people that asked about the aqua pigment class coming back. So we'll have that one coming again, but don't worry. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to try to do about three classes a month now so we can get everybody in because the classes have been selling out. So we want to make sure that we have a spot for everyone. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for being a part of my life. Remember to create something every day, whether that is a gorgeous embossing powder of your own or your own ending. I love you all more than I can ever explain. Be good to one another. You, I know you will. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. I have lots of fun things.